Stevenson gets the 15-6 win over Colorado College. Knight, Glenn Clark, Brent Hyken with the head coach, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, what more can we say about your defense through two games, man? They have just been unbelievable. Well, they're playing good. You know, I think that, you know, the, the good part is they've got a lot of those guys back. They've been in the program for a couple years, so they kind of know each other well. And, and Mark does a great job backing them up. You know, he comes up with the big saves when you need to. And those guys are doing a good job flying around. And they do a great job of knocking down a lot of passes, too, which is good. And I think we're doing a much better job at uh, taking away the knowns. You know what I mean? So we knew we had to take away eight a lot. And I thought Maul Levy did a great job on him. And then, you know, Ryan did a great job on four. And then Matt just cleans it all up for all of us. You know what I mean? Matt Wilson does a great job. And so, and our midi Ds are starting to really kind of understand where to be and what to do. We were able to play four of them tonight, and that was good. And then Eddie and Shell at the pole, you know, they're really doing a great job and throwing in Damian there a little bit. So, you know, we got some solid guys. We're happy with that, but I think we have to play better in a week from now in order to get the W. That's for sure. Let's talk about that. What were you What were you happy about? We talked last week about getting better. What did you think was already better from week one to week two? Well, I think that, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure we were better in any facet, really, but I think that we played again. What I wanted to see us really do is play tough again in week two. And I thought we'd played tough again in week two, made some tough plays, and um, and that's what I really want to see our team do. I think offensively, you know, we got generated 65 shots against a pretty good team. We got to score a few more goals. I thought we, we're not getting rewarded for some of the great things that we're doing, I think, and I think that's going to come. We're moving the ball, and we're playing a lot of young guys out there. Three of our top five middies are all freshmen. They're out there to the fray playing against these guys, 17. I mean, Lucas and uh, Scalati and uh, and Grant, you know, they're all young kids. You know, they're playing out there, and, and Cam and Josh are doing such – and Cam and Josh are doing such a great job leading us on offense, and I think it's going to come. We're really doing a great job, but we know we got to play better on offense a week from now, and uh, Nolan got better at the faceoff, again, continuing to get us wins there and back, and uh, so we're excited how we're playing. I just think that we got to play probably better this weekend to play a really good Gettysburg team that I thought played a great, did a great job in the fourth quarter against Salisbury, made that a game, and so and, and, the, and they got a new coach, and they're going to play excited, so we're going to have to play much better. I don't let Brent hop in. Speaking of face-off guys. Well, yeah, I don't want to catch you. <laughs> oh, man. Coach, great to see you as always. Um, <laughs> thanks for all the wonderful compliments I'm probably not going to get. But uh, I, I just wanted to check in. What does two convincing wins mean for, for your team, the program, and the guys to come in with, like you said, so many young guys and convincingly win the first two games of the season? What's it say for them mentally? Well, I just think, that, again, we're playing mentally tougher than I think we've played in the last few years. I think that's one of the things that uh, that we kind of struggle with at times when games are tough. You kind of be mentally uh, soft a little bit. We'd make a mistake here and get into it. I think these guys are playing much tougher, making tougher plays and playing together as a unit. I think we're really doing a good job playing as a sum of our parts, not as individuals, and that's what I really like. And we're going to have to get another great effort this weekend to do that. But, you know, the toughness that we're playing with, the ground ball play, I think is really good. And um, and uh, when you're strong up the middle like we are, facing off and in the goal, you know, you can you have a chance to win any game. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, Brent. I, I, great. I, well, hang on a second. Before, before we let you go, wow. I heard a, leg, a story that a there was a uh, there was one time a face-off matchup between Paul Cantabene and Brent Hyken. Yep, there was. Uh, I don't know. He he told me what the result was. Yeah, one. So you, let's make sure you only get one shot at the champ. All right, you only get one shot at the champ. If you don't beat the champ, you don't get a second chance. All right. So I went against I went against him and I won. You got to earn your way up the championship ladder again. I won. He didn't, and that's the way it was. That's it. The champ lives on. Coach, thank you for coming up and joining us. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the win. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it all. He's Paul Cantabene.